Stewart celebrating the life of the immortal Alan Toussaint. There, of course, is absolute classic Southern Nights, one of the big, big, big uh, hits associated. Before that, it was Sweet Touch of Music is homegrown from the Garden of New Orleans. Music is everything to me short of breathing. Music also has a role to lift you up, not to be escapist, but to take you out of misery. That's a line from Alan Toussaint. And thank you, Andre for uh, and Mandeville, for passing along that line to us. Lori Annie, right here in New Orleans, she says, Thank you very much, WWOZ, for honoring the greatest music saint of our generation, the talented, best-dressed Mr. Toussaint. May he rest in peace. And she waves goodbye with a heavy heart. When I met Alan, I was just a teenager, too, you know. He was one of the quote-unquote characters that hung around the dewdrop. This is where everybody hung out at the dewdrop because uh, you got to think in the background of segregation, we couldn't go nowhere else. <laughs> he was really handsome and well-dressed and he had a real flashy car, you know, he had like a... He always kept, you know, a Cadillac convertible and he'd double park it out in the street and walk in and man, he had his hair done. Yeah, but it's only a few of us that's still alive that's in this picture. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is King Floyd, Jean Knight, she's still with me. Of course, I'm here, Tommy Richley's gone, Rhonda Roseanne Cato is gone, Smokey just died a few weeks ago. He liked the production part of, the creative part of, of the music industry. It wasn't until after Katrina that he became a part of the show business side of the, the artistry because that was not his comfort zone. His comfort zone was studio writing and producing and that sort of thing. He loved being behind the scenes. He loved that creative side of himself. Just look at the roster of talent that he produced, the Meters, Chocolate Milk, Irma Thomas, Paul McCartney, Elvis Costello. He's like our national treasure, our cultural ambassador. Just so many words I could use to describe this man and his greatness. I know his spirit will live on because he left a mark behind, you know, for future generations. There isn't a musician in town that wouldn't speak highly of Alan because he did one thing. He paid them well for their services, gave them the red carpet treatment wherever they went. I think he would want to be remembered that way, as someone who helped people and somebody, you know, who gave his life to promoting, preserving, and perpetuating the indigenous culture of New Orleans. Because he said it often, everywhere I go, New Orleans is with me. Everything I do from now on is going to be funky. <laughs> As New Orleans is here, as long as the concept of New Orleans music is afoot in the world, one of the first names people will invoke is that of the immortal Alan Toussaint. But I guess I'll have to accept the fact that you're not here.